Good evening everyone, I'm Writer Coach Tony and welcome back to my channel. This is um, the second semi-final in the men's singles for the French Open 2023. So I'm going to mention to you who the players uh, who went through to the semi-finals. Uh, the results came out early this morning. Manila time because uh, I wasn't really able to watch the whole game, including the games of Alcaraz Djokovic, because uh, the women's game finished at around 10 and I was sleep already and I have church tomorrow, so I went to sleep. So we'll discuss the first semifinal semifinal list in the lower part of the draw. And um, well, the first round he won over Elias Imer of Sweden, 6 4, 6 3, 6 2. Second round, Giovanni Zeppieri of Italy, 6 3, 6 2, 4 6, 7 5. So he took off a set from this guy. Zhang Zhizhen also took a set from him, uh, 4 6, 6 4, 6 1, 6 4 from China. Zhang Zhizhen. Uh huh. Then in the fourth round, are you in the fourth round? Fourth round. Oh, he won over Nicolas Jari of Chile. Seven six seven five seven five. And in the game yesterday, I only saw part of it because I was so sleepy already. Sorry, I was so sleepy. Um, he won over Olga Rune of Denmark. Six one six two three six six three. I saw part of the the third round when Holger was really playing really well, but Rude, oh, I mentioned his name, was able to neutralize him. Um, so the first guy into the semifinals for the upper part of the draw, uh, for the lower part of the draw is Casper Rude of Norway, and Casper. Was already a semi I was already a finalist here um, last year, so he's back in normal territory. So the guy who joins Rude um, had a dramatic exit last year. Um, he reached a very late stage again last year, but had this dramatic event happen to him. So anyway... Let's review how he got through. Um, I'll mention his name later. So you have Casper Ruud already. You have Carlos Alcaraz of Spain and Novak Djokovic of Serbia on the upper part of the draw. Ah, okay, let's see. Um, hmm, can you hold? So in the first round, this guy met Lloyd Harris. Of Republic of South Africa. 767661. Seven, six, wow. It's tight, no? Second round match, he won over Alex Molchan of the Slovak Republic. 6462 and 6 1. Then next in the third round, he had to meet American, crafty player, American Francis TFO. Who took off a set from him? The three six seven six six one seven six. So really tight match. He had two tie breaks, um, and then in the fourth round, uh, in the fourth round, he met um, Grigor Dimitrov of Bulgaria. Six one six four six three. And finally, last night, I, I saw uh, parts of the game, and I'm impressed with his opponent, Tomas Martin Echeverri. Um, apparently, they are contemporaries with um, Francisco Serundolo. So, anyway, uh, the guy who reaches the, the semifinals is Alexander Zverev. Currently ranked number 27 in the world, but doesn't show 
because how could you reach the semifinals if you just rank 27 but that means he pulled off some major upsets and he has a pedigree for it because um, he reached the semifinals last year against Nadal unfortunately he rolled his ankle such a sad video to watch and he was sidelined the whole year that's why his ranking fell uh, a little bit so between Kasper Ruud of Norway and Alexander Zverev of Germany, um, the head-to-head -head points to Alexander Zverev of Germany. So don't be fooled by Zverev's uh, low ranking because I'm sure he reached number two or number three in the world. I just cannot remember uh, now. But he is a former top three player in the world. And with his performance now really shows he wants to win, you know? wants to win so anyway um, for the lower part of the part of the draw it's Kasper Rude of Norway and Alexander Zverev of Germany hmm let's see so in the upper part I said um, I'm cheering for Alcaraz Carlos Alcaraz and I think Carlos Alcaraz is going to win in the lower part oh how can you choose two players to really like for this French Open, I think I'm rooting for Zverev because in a way, Zverev is an older player. I think he burst into the scene much earlier than Kasper Ruud. And then now Kasper Ruud already has two final appearances in a Grand Slam. So anyway, I am cheering for Alexander Zverev, but I think Kasper Ruud will win because, you know, when Kasper Ruud and um, and Holger Rune was playing. You know, Holger is a very aggressive player. He's also very talented from Denmark. And uh, when he's on, he can really give you a lot of trouble. However, yesterday, Kasper Rune was very... His defenses were very good. And you can see that he was really using um, what he knew, his weapons against the younger Rune. Uh, my problem with Rune is he's a bit, um, I don't know, it's just my opinion, no? but he's a bit mayabang, he's a bit boastful. No? So anyway, <laughs> that's why I was rooting for Rune. So anyway, for sun, uh, for the semifinal match tomorrow, I will be rooting for Zverev. But I have a feeling Kasper Ruud is going to win, uh, making the final um, Alcaraz and Ruud. But, 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 on paper, Alexander Zverev has a better head-to-head -head than Kasper Ruud. So, on paper, my finals looks like Alcaraz versus Zverev. So, that's going to be fun. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. But anyway, as I said, I'm going to cheer for Zverev, uh, but I think Kasper Ruud will win. So, with that, thank you very much for... Um, listening to my uh, prognostication. Um, I'll be doing some cheering for the women's game tonight and then tomorrow night for the men. So take care, everyone. I'm writer coach Tony, and please subscribe to my channel. And also, please uh, follow me on my Twitter, my Instagram, and my Facebook. The details are all down below, okay? Down below. So thank you, everyone. Bye-bye. Take care.